Okay, on this video, I will give you a quick overview of how does Asimaster transfer its slave data to S7 CPU. For the last video, I make a video on uh, digital IO address mapping. On this video, I am going to make analog IO address mapping. So let's uh, before going uh, configuring the hardware configuration, let's see the wiring diagram. The wiring diagram is the same, almost the same with the last one. I have only added two analog modules here. Each each uh, analog module can um, connect you uh, connect to analog sensors. Analog slave address forty for temp. I use this analog address forty for temperature me measurement. Analog address. This is slave address 50 for uh, level measurement or level reading, reading. So this the wiring is uh, almost the same as you see. Let's uh, talk some basics. The analog address mapping is different from the digital one. Let's see the analog one. This one. If you use 24 bytes, the slave address includes 25 to 29 to 31, only three states. If you use 56 bytes, slave address must from 25 to 31, six slaves. Likewise, if you use 60 bytes, the slave address must be 40 and 50, only two slaves. On this video, I used two slaves or two uh, analog modules, so I will use this one. So let's add on the hardware configuration. Okay. Analog sixty. Okay, this one. Let's add this one. Let's make the this is the readable. Start on so let's save in the compile. Okay, no errors. Thank you. Okay, let's see the mapping. The mapping looks like this one. If you use sixty byte, slave address one hundred. And 101 because two bytes for one word this one is for input one and the slave address 40 and 102 and 103 are for input two for the slave 40 for slave 50 104 and 5 are for input one 106 and 107 are for input two so let's give a name or a simple name. Okay, as you see, 100. I give name here 100 is for temperature reading, slave 40, and 104 for slave 50, level reading. Okay, this must be integer. Okay, let's save and compile and close and we'll go to the programming. Let's insert function to read the analog data. data. Okay, this is for temperature measurement or the same or reading. Okay, to read or to scale, I am going to use one function one one hundred five. I can give one as it's 
your FC 100 or just drag in the drop from the standard library. Okay, import it is slave 40. Temperature reading range, let's say from 0 to 100. One or hundred, one hundred fifty. And this is one make one point zero mm, for error code. I can use memory word too. For my data, I can use one uh, ten table data. Mm, okay. Let's keep name this one. Actual temperature ready. Okay, this is for temperature. This add for label. Label. Reading. So let's add this one. FC one zero five. This one is just left. Fifty. The the level reading from one from zero to. I can make it uh, 500, 500 meat cube. Okay, this one for five dollar. Don't use this one for error code. Memory word for. Okay, for the actual level reading. Forty. Give me. This one is actual level reading. Okay. So we create functions. Let's close the function and call on OB1 to execute. Here, here are the last times. Let's add network. Okay. Function one, we can call the one. This one, oh, okay. done. Okay, I've done this one. Hardware configuration, also the programming.